guys welcome back to another full day of eating with me potato reset style i'm on day three of my week-long potato reset where i'm eating nothing but potatoes and non-starchy veggies this is a fantastic way that you can eat in order to get lean potatoes are incredible for your health and specifically for weight loss they are super low calorie density and high satisfaction so i want to show you every single thing i'm eating potato wise today i'm going to be cooking up three fantastic potato related meals so if you love potatoes and you want to get creative with them keep watching i've got loads of delicious plans for food today i am starting the morning by whipping up another batch of those maple miso roasted sweet potatoes i have to film it for instagram because they have to see what it's like it is so good i also added some freshly grated ginger in there which is a game changer so highly recommend that for lunch, I'm really wanting to do um, like a potato salad, but obviously without any mayo, without any silken tofu, without any of that stuff, obviously totally fat-free, potato reset friendly. So I'll kind of show you how I navigate that. We're still gonna have all the amazing flavors of a potato salad, but zero fat and zero added ingredients. So that's gonna be really fun. And then for dinner tonight, I really fancied making a sweet potato curry. Um, I haven't made a sweet potato curry in ages. Obviously, it's going to be beanless, but I thought that could be really fun. Um, and I was also, the other thing that sprang to mind is, could I make sweet potato noodles? Not like the sweet potato noodles that you can buy from a shop, but like actually from a sweet potato. Like if you julienned it into little noodles and kind of semi-steamed it or boiled it or air fried it or something, would it turn into noodles? I have to find out. You could go sweet, you could go savory with that. Um, but anyway, I'm not quite sure if it's going to work, but I'm feeling creative today and I want to make that, definitely. So yeah, there's loads of good stuff on the menu today. Both of my babies are at school and it's lovely to have a little bit of time to myself. And I forgot to tell you guys, I've booked myself in for five personal training sessions at my local gym, which I am so excited about because I've been spending the last few months trying to work on my fitness after having lost 60 pounds to really build some muscle and like change my body composition. And I've been really enjoying it, it's been super fun, but I also don't know exactly what I'm doing. I've been kind of winging it and just been like, yeah, I'll try that one and I'll try that workout and obviously just doing it from home. But I went to go and have a look at our local gym it's actually really nice and they do some personal training sessions and I thought you know what why not let I would love to learn and soak up some information sometimes I think we can feel a bit proud to ask for help but it's really important to notice when you actually need help from a from somebody who that is their area and I need some help in order to figure out the best exercises to build some muscle um so I'm going to go and work with a personal trainer this morning and see what they have to say I'm going to do five sessions and then hopefully I'll just do it by myself in the gym once I've kind of learned some stuff but I'm super excited um and I'm also just excited to get out of my house to go to a gym to like use the machines and like ugh, you know what I mean <laughs> gyms are a bit intimidating but the one I'm going to seems it's pretty small and it's super chilled and like laid back and there's loads of women there which I love. I hate going to a gym where there's no women at all. It's just big, huge, beefy men lifting stuff and you do feel very, I feel really intimidated doing that. Um, but this gym seems different and so I encourage you guys to go and check out your local gym if it's something you want to pursue. Anyway, I'm super excited about that but uh, I'm not going to eat before I go. I'm not super hungry but I am, the shops are right next to the gym so I am going to go and get some food for all of my meal plans today so i'm gonna go and make a quick shopping list come with me the reason why i started it in here is because the kitchen is loud because i've got the air fryer on obviously oh yes the other thing i really wanted to make today is i wanted to have um, a soup a soup with a bit of a difference and i found this amazing looking mushroom and spinach indian style soup uh, which I really wanted to include in the cookbook anyway. And I thought, that's potato reset friendly. I can make it. So gosh darn it, we're going to make that. So I need some mushrooms. I wanted to quickly show you these sweet potato um, glazed maple miso things I'm doing today. I've done it slightly differently. I've put the sweet potatoes in the air fryer first, then taken them out and now I've put the stuff on. And I'm going to give them like another five minutes in the air fryer to really like get nice and juicy. But yeah, I just wanted to show you. And the ginger is so, so good. Such a good addition, guys. You gotta try it. Mm. Yes. Hey guys, so I'm back from my personal training session. Honestly, it was so nice to actually be in a gym because I was able to lift weights that were appropriate for my body. I've been lifting like five kilos, which is 
ended up feeling so, so, so light. And actually the lady that I had, my personal trainer, she couldn't believe how heavy the weights were that I could lift. Like for my, for my legs, for my glutes, <laughs> she kept on putting out, we started on like four and we ended on like 14 or 16 or something. She was like, oh my God, can you keep going? I was like, yes, I can. Anyway, so I've got strong glutes, which is great, but it was so nice to push myself properly in the gym with just, just having the variety of weights. And I have looked into buying my own weights, but they're darn expensive, so I'm not gonna do that. Anyway, it was also a lovely gym and it was nice to go there. So that's really exciting. So I've got my next session next Wednesday um, and I might try and go there in the interim. I'm not quite sure. I need to pay for it separately though. So anyhow, um, but yeah, that was really good. But I have been shopping really quickly. Let me show you what I got. Okay, two bags of mushrooms, a bag of spinach, some sweet potatoes, and what really fancy some baby potatoes. So I've got some baby spuds, and I've got three tins of chopped tomatoes. We're keeping it simple, it's veg and potato heavy. I am now quite a hungry thing, so I'm gonna work on some breakfast. So for breakfast, I'm gonna be having some sweet potato toast. Oh my God, I forgot to buy tomatoes. Idiot. Right, I may have to go back to the shops. Anyway, we'll get crack. I'll tell you what, why don't we get cracking on the potato salad? Because I think that would be delicious. Okay, so for this potato salad, I'm going to be using some of these baby potatoes. I'm just going to put them on to boil real quick. Oh, they look so cute. I'm going to try and cut them in half so they get done a little faster. Now that they're all chopped up into little chunks, we're just going to quickly boil these babies until um, they're kind of just fork tender. Today is a day of loads and loads of recipes. So I also really want to try out for the Indian cookbook, a potato halva, which is a crazy concept. But basically I've got these three leftover uh, steamed potatoes from the other day and you're meant to grate it up. And then obviously you're meant to cook it with a ton of oil um, and then like a cup of sugar or something. I'm obviously not gonna do that. Um, you could go date paste or maple syrup. I don't have date paste to hand. So I'm gonna just add a little maple syrup and then some saffron and stuff. And then just, that's basically it. And it's meant to be amazing. So I'm skeptical, but we're gonna try this out together. So let's give it a whirl. Okay, first what we wanna do is we wanna take the skins off the potatoes. I also need a non-starchy thing for this morning because I know I haven't really had that yet. I totally forgot to buy all of my non-starchy snacky nibbles at the shops because I didn't write it on my list like an idiot. I need to buy loads of tomatoes. I need to buy sugar snap peas. And I don't have any cucumber. Like, what am I doing with myself? I don't even know. But I do have a full bag of frozen cauliflower and I am going to be making some turmeric cauliflower soup uh, for the Indian cookbook anyway. So I thought I may as well make that now um, because it sounds delicious. And then I'll just use that for my non-starchy portion uh, this morning. And then when I pick up Romy from school, I'm gonna run to the shops really quickly again and go and get all of those things. What a sausage I am, what a sausage. Yes, being a little bit more prepared would definitely have been helpful. But you know what, we all have these moments and we just have to try and do the best in the situation that we're currently in. And I tell you what, having some frozen veggies is invaluable because if you run out of fresh stuff and you're like, oh no, I've got no veggies to eat, frozen will keep you sorted. So anyway, I'm so glad I'm stocked up this week. Okay, so we're just gonna grate these potatoes up. I've got my shredded potatoes and I'm just gonna add a little splash of maple syrup, maybe like a tablespoon or something, just to see how that goes in terms of sweetness. Like I said, the recipe calls for so much more, but we're gonna, gonna take it easy. Then we've also got our cardamom powder and some saffron as well, which I've never used before but it's gonna give us some amazing color. So like half a teaspoon of cardamom. And I think we're gonna go for like, oh God, how did we get this open? Ah, there we go. Like, oh wow, these are so delicate. We're gonna go for like five little saffron strands and see where that takes us in terms of, uh, that's purely color purposes, obviously. Okay, so let's cook this down and let's hope that it doesn't burn to a crisp and hope it turns into something absolutely beautiful. Okay, I know you guys said you quite like looking at the pan, so I'm going to show you my pan. Okay, so it's um, just starting to get nice and squidgy, and I'm just going to continually stir it. I do have some water. I'm actually using some of this potato starchy water uh, from those potatoes next door. I'm just kind of mixing those around a little bit just to make sure it doesn't stick to the pan. And we want to continue to do this. I might have to add some more saffron in for that extra colour. I'm going to continue to do this until it hopefully forms into a beautiful, squidgy, sweet blob of stuff. 
Okay, come on, baby. Okay, so we've now been mixing this down for like five minutes, and you can see how it's starting to really get nice and like squishy, and st all the starchy stuff is kind of coming out. So I think that's kind of it, and I think we're done, guys. This is smelling very, very nice, and I'm really curious to try it. I haven't got a clue what we're in for. Okay, here is our potato halva. I am very in love with potatoes, but also very confused. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. That is very tasty. Oh, wow. It's, the potato is just like a neutral base. And then, obviously, the powerful flavour of the cardamom just really comes through nicely. But, mmm. I'll tell you what. The texture of this is fantastic. It's like a super, super squidgy, like... Oh, oh, not velvety, but it's like, it's just a great pudding consistency. Oh, really nice one. Oh my God, potatoes, save the day. Anyway, next time you've got some old potatoes lying around and you fancy something sweet, you've got to whip up some of this stuff. Okay, so for this potato salad, I've got all of my potatoes nicely cooked up in here. Now, what I've decided to do is I've decided to use the potatoes to make the creamy like sauce kind of stuff to go on top of the potato salad um, because potatoes in and of themselves are of course creamy. So I've put in here um, loads of lovely fresh dill. I might put a little bit more in here actually. I've got some garlic, some mustard, some apple cider vinegar and some salt. Uh, and that's basically it. Oh, and some onion powder and some garlic powder as well for good measure. I'm just gonna blitz this up and hopefully this will be like a nice creamy like Potato salady sauce. Let's just let's see what happens, shall we? Oh, okay. Let's see what this is like. Mmm. Oh, that is actually a very creamy, delicious dip. Mmm. If you want to just just use this as a dip for any kind of, if you did loads of chips or something, and you wanted to dunk, this would be great. I'm also just going to chop up some celery and whack it in there as well. Okay, so the potato salad is ready. I'm sorry, I didn't film the full thing. I was filming it for Instagram, but I'll probably have the video here at some point as well. It is so, like, sticky, creamy goodness just from the potatoes itself. It's so good. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Basically, it's got the boiled potatoes. I've got three stalks of celery, loads of fresh dill in there. And then the sauce, which I already explained to you guys, but super simple, really, really yummy. I know it's not super high on the non-starchy stuff. I've been really potatoing up today, but I am going to try and make up for that this afternoon by actually going and buying some vegetables. I've got Romy from nursery and we've just been to the shops to get some more stuff. We've got some blueberries for Romy, cucumber and some baby cherry tomatoes. There was no sugar snap peas and I've got a craving for sugar snap peas. Also, I really want to do a video for you guys, which are like... Um, sugar snap peas as I was walking I just realised I feel all over the place I don't feel organised in any way, in any fashion and it makes me not super productive so the seat woman realised that's, that's right <laughs> realised <laughs> you're so funny Robbie. But yeah I realised sometimes I, we need to be a little bit organized and planned out in order to feel like we're being productive and not to just feel all over the place. I know people can feel this way if they don't do a meal plan, for example. And then as the day, days roll by, they haven't got a clue what to make. And they're just like, oh my God, I just feel like that about life at the moment. The last two days, I didn't wake up early to do my workouts. I need to start doing that again. And I want to be organized in terms of my meals properly. I want to be organized in terms of my content properly. And I just feel all over the place. So when I get home, I'm gonna sit down and do a little bit of organization, just to try and get myself sorted. And if you feel all over the place as well, and you're not quite sure, um, and like you're just feeling like the meat, you don't even know what meals you're eating. You're just shoving food in your face or you, you, or you don't feel like it's happening then I recommend getting a bit of organization into your life will be a game changer. Food shopping, meal planning, in any area of your life really, 
organization can make life so much easier. And that's what I need. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it together. Romy is very excited to dive into these blueberries and Me. I'm jealous I'm not joining her, but uh, let's, yeah. let's get some of these ready for you, baby. Romy and I are gonna quickly make some cauliflower soup, but I've managed to get my hands on some cucumber and therefore I'm just gonna eat the majority of a cucumber. I am so excited to have some cucumber and just have like some, some fresh stuff. I need fresh. I want fresh things. Mm. Cucumber. Cucumber. Okay, now we're gonna make our cauliflower spiced soup. We're gonna start with an onion. So let's just chop this bad boy up and get this water sauteing while we get everything else ready. Do you want to help mommy chop it? Come. Good girl. Okay, what's wrong, Do you want to put it in the pan? Yeah. yeah you pop it in, my love. Yay! Mm. And those little bits, you can do those little bits too. Right. Splash of water. Let's saute. Going in with some garlic and some ginger as well. Wow, is that what blueberries make you do? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, in here I've got turmeric, coriander powder, garam masala, and cumin powder. Just whacking that in. I'll, uh, I'll rinse it out properly. And then I'm also going in with one large potato as well. We're gonna go in with a full bag of cauliflower, basically like one head's worth of cauliflower. And a tiny bit of bouillon as well. Motion, of course. Yeah. Then we'll put the lid on and let it cook. Okay, so this has been cooking for about 10 to 15 minutes, and the potatoes are now, oh, sorry, a bit steamy. The potatoes are nice and tender, and I think we're ready to blend. We just want to blend this up until it's nice and smooth. You could optionally add in some coconut milk, um, but I feel like it's probably going to be nice and creamy as it is. Here we go. I do love a cauliflower soup. I never think to make it Indian though. A cauliflower is honestly the perfect base for a soup. Even if you're not making a cauliflower soup, just add cauliflower in because it just adds extra creaminess to be honest. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That is very, very yummy. Oh, nice guys, nice. Obviously, when I take a photo, I'm gonna add some fresh coriander and that'll give it an extra boost of flavor. Mm. Yum. Anyway, I'm going to take Roms out real quick. We're going to go and pick her some apples and go and see some local chickens before we go pick up Abe. I did eat that entire cucumber, by the way. Apple. Yeah, we're going to go pick some apples, that's right. Run, Romy, run! We are back at our favourite apple picking spot. Although I won't be having any. Romy is dying for some fresh apple picking. Let's see what they have to offer. Back from the school run, Romy is extremely tired, but I've heated up some soup and I'm gonna go and stuff this in my face while I feed her. Then we're gonna crack on with some dinner. We've actually run out of sweet potatoes, so Romy's helped me get these all ready and we're gonna whack these into the oven because we are in desperate need. I went hunting and I found a little spice mix in the cupboard, which is this one right here. It's a bang curry mix that I, we got ages ago, we haven't used it. And I thought I would make myself a sweet potato curry because that just really appeals. So I've got um, half a gigantic onion sauteing in here. I'm gonna add, it said to add, says to add garlic and ginger, then this spice mix and then any other thing of choice. And I'm gonna go for one Japanese and one, uh, sorry, one Japanese and one Hannah Yam and a couple of tins of tomatoes and call it a day and we're gonna see what it's like. Okay, I've semi burnt it, semi caramelized it, but it's ready. So I'm just gonna chuck in our spice mix. One tin of chopped tomatoes. Okay, then I've chucked in all of the sweet potatoes and like a cup of water. And I'm just gonna let that simmer for what, 15, 20 minutes and then we'll see what it's like. I was trying to figure out what veggies to have with my curry and I realized I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm just gonna have some cherry tomatoes, but I also really fancied some carrot fries. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slice these into little kind of fry-ish shapes. And now I will get you some carrot as well. I'm gonna keep it simple with a bit of garlic salt, a little bit of cumin, a little splash of lemon juice, 
and a little bit of chat masala on here as well. Okay, then let's air fry for like five, 10 minutes. I've got very tired and very naked babies running around, but I'll show you my dinner now. Uh, those are my carrot fries, I got my tomatoes and I got my sweet potato curry with loads of coriander on the top. And um, I'm very excited to dig in. Let's see if we can have a try without naked babies in the background. Mm. Oh, this is very nice. Oh, that's a super tasty curry, actually. Anyway, I need to get my babies off to bed because James is at the gym tonight. Trying to see if he can run 10K, which is amazing. Also, I want to say, these carrots have condensed down. They're now such a smaller volume than they were before. That is what happens when you dehydrate something. You suck all the liquid out of it and you make it a smaller volume. So if you're wanting lower calorie density, keep it as a fresh carrot. I mean, obviously it's still pretty good, but I love it when you can see the visuals, you know. Okay. I am back. It is nearly eight o'clock, but I am actually hungry. I don't know whether it's because I did quite a crazy strength workout today at the gym or something, but basically I'm still snacky and therefore I'm gonna eat. So I've got myself a little um, Hannah Yam sweet potato and a little orange one as well. Just gonna give them a little sprinkle. There we go. Okay, a big sprinkle. Mm. Yes. I must say, I was thinking about this today. I'm much more of a sweet potato person than a potato person. Let me know down below if you are sweet potato or regular potato. I am always sweet. But yeah, make sure to honor those hunger fullness cues and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be weighing how many pounds of potatoes and veggies I actually eat in one day. Because I'm curious because I have been eating quite a fair amount. I had two huge bowls of soup earlier, like I finished that entire soup. Um, so yeah, tomorrow, let's see how much I'm actually eating.